uh, basically, when you invest, as I say, you have to know what you're buying. If you are buying in a competitive industry, if demand goes up, it just attracts a lot more co competition. Well, digging deeper, and you know, this was the one big idea that I found that's absolutely, I was just, you know, what oh, light bulb went on in, in my head, um, was the idea of how you, you know, you distill what the most strongest modes are out there. Economy of scale and customer captivity, if you can find a combination of those two in a business, that's the way I call the mode. And uh, could you speak a little bit about that idea? How you yeah, I think that uh, basically when you invest, as I say, you have to know what you're buying. If you are buying in a competitive industry, if demand goes up, it just attracts a lot more co competition. Prices go down, product offerings fragment the market more thoroughly. And again, consumers benefit from that. So what you absolutely have to have if you're going to earn superior returns is barriers to entry. And if you don't earn superior returns, growth has no value. So there are a whole bunch of industries, natural resources, real estate, competitive businesses with no barriers to entry, but you can't worry about and pay for growth as most people try and do under those circumstances. So what you've got to do is segment the world into businesses that benefit from barriers to entry and businesses that don't. And there is, it turns out, a simple numerical number that will tell you how high the barriers are, or in the language you just articulated, how wide the moat is. And the first element to that is economies of scale expressed as the minimum sustainable market share you need to be viable. So if you look at the global automobile market, it's so big, people are viable at 2% share. And you're not going to keep anybody out in that world. If you look at cell phones, you can see around the world, people who have 10% share, 8% share, 12% share don't make money. People who have 15 to 20% share break even, you got to be above 20% share to make money. So the minimum sort of profitable share is sort of 20, 15 to 20% there, and you want to be above that. If you look at caffeinated soft drinks where you've got these huge local infrastructures to deliver what are very heavy products, typically you have to have at least 25% of those local markets to be viable. So that's where you start. And that's where the economies of scale cut. And just by looking around at the industry structure, you can get an idea of what that number is.